Hello YouTube, it's Lion here with Hobbies of a Man once again, and today we're going to do our book haul for this month. It's going to be a mixed book haul, it's going to have uh, basically every type of uh, book that you guys can think of. And yeah, uh, I would really appreciate it if you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Please let me know what you guys picked up this month. Um, please like the video if you enjoyed it, and uh, subscribe to my channel. It would really help me out. I'm trying to reach 100 subscribers by the end of the month. This should go up on Monday the 29th so we will have a uh, two more days left um but yeah i really appreciate all the support everyone shows me and i really appreciate uh the community that we're kind of slowly building around the channel so thank you guys very much for that uh and without further ado let's just jump right into it so the first thing i want to mention is right here we can see i have all 12 volumes of ultimo but they're not mine i bought them for the prom g there was a listing near my uh town where I live right now, and I, I showed it on our little private group chat. I was like, hey, if anyone wants it, <clears throat> here it is. Um, and then he was like, hey man, can you go pick it up for me? And I was like, yeah, sure. So I'll be uh, sending him this uh, today, tomorrow? I don't know, sometime, but uh, yeah. And then moving on from there, we're going to uh, just uh, start with regular books, then we're going to move on to comic books, then I'll talk about light novels, and then at the end we'll talk about manga. I'll divide it up into chapters so you guys can see specific things or the whole thing. It's up to you guys. And yeah, so first thing I got is called Tyrannosaurus Canyon by Douglas Preston. I've never read a book by this guy, but uh, I, have it a bunch, I have a bunch of used book credit at my local bookstore, uh, used bookstore. And uh, I was curious about what this was about. And yeah, hopefully it's kind of like Jurassic Park. If not, uh, oh well, I guess. It, it was basically free, so I don't care. Uh, the next thing I picked up was Sharp's Tiger by Bernard Cornwell. This guy wrote uh, The Last Kingdom, which is a really popular TV show on Netflix. The fourth season just came out recently. I re definitely recommend it. I watched it with my family. It was really good. I recommend you watch it in English uh, because we watched it in Spanish, uh, dubbed obviously. But there was a problem with the dubbing and uh, like the first two seasons and the fourth one are in Latin American Spanish and the third season was in uh, European Spanish. And it was a little weird, but uh, whatever, it doesn't matter. But yeah, really great show. Recommend it. And, and anyway, I bought this because I'm interested in Bernard Cornwell. I want to read his books and he usually writes historical fiction. This one is about a some sort of sharpshooter that worked um, in His Majesty's uh, Royal Army, you know, British Army, uh, during the Neo-Napoleonic uh, Nap Wars, I think. Uh, maybe? I can't remember, but I think that's what it's about. Hopefully, uh, I'm correct. Um, yeah, 1799, I can't remember if that's, uh, Napoleonic Wars or not. But yeah, this is exciting. Uh, the other book I picked up was Barnard Cornwell's The Last Kingdom. This is, uh, what I just talked about earlier. Um, but I'm really excited to get into this. I'm not really, uh, much of a f historical fiction reader, but I want to start doing it. And, uh, I really like The Last Kingdom, so... I saw this and I couldn't pass it up. So yeah, that's basically it. Uh, now on to comic books. Um, I got a few, I got like five of them. So the first one I got was Witchblade. This is the uh, first volume in Ron Mars's run. Was really excited about this, but sadly it came in damaged and I had to try to re-glue it, but it didn't work as you guys can see right there. Um, but basically the glue came off uh, from the spine and the pages separated into separate blocks um, and so I had to re-glue them. I tried it a bunch of times, didn't work out, but it's readable now so I'm just gonna read it. It was only four dollars so I don't really mind. Um, but yeah, that's uh, Witchblade but Ron Mars Volume 1. And then the next thing I got was Grim Fairy Tales Volume 3. I saw a listing on this for Mer uh, on Mercari for Volume 1 and 2 so I'll pick that up soon-ish. But yeah, this is cool. This is like hot, uh, sexy renditions of all of the grim fairy tales. And they're like Monster Hunter chicks, uh, kind of. So yeah, I'm excited to get into this as well. Uh, I'll probably review them on the 
channel at some point, but I'm not sure. The next one I got was Witchblade uh, Awakenings, which is volume two of the Ron Mars uh, run. Uh, my buddy Otaku Mike has a really good review on the first one, if you guys want to check it out. Uh, this is actually abled as volume 11 in the whole scheme of Witchblade, but it's volume 2 of the um, reimagined version. Um, but yeah, I'm really liking this art, so I'm excited to get into this as well. And yeah, next one I got was Witchblade and Red Sonya, which I really liked. I, I only picked this up because I like the... Uh, anime-esque kind of style that they had going on and I like Red Sonia although I haven't read any of her any of her stories yet I just think the the whole barbarian woman is an interesting concept and I'm a fan of Conan the Barbarian uh kind of um I'm at least a fan of other stories like it like uh, John Carter so yeah and then the next one I got was Wonder Woman um this is the first volume in DC Rebirth uh, this is written by Greg Rucka, and yeah, here, there, there's one image I liked here a lot, actually, that I thought was really cool looking. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, see, this was what drew me in. I thought it was really cool looking. Uh, can you guys see it? Hopefully you guys can see it. Uh, yeah, there we go. It's, uh, like, this cheetah lady and, uh, Wonder Woman. So yeah, I've never actually written a, or read a Wonder Woman comic, but I really did like the DC uh, Universe movie, so yeah. Okay, and that was basically it. Now, light novels. Uh, the first two I got were, uh, well, the first one I got was No Game, No Life, Volume 1. I started watching the anime with my buddies uh, when I went back to my apartment for a couple days. Um, and it's crazy. But I'm really excited to get into this. The Light Novel Podcast has done a podcast episode on it. I really recommend it. You guys should check it out. And then I bought two digital copies of, or two digital uh, books. I got uh, Combatants Will Be Dispatched, which is uh, written by the same guy that wrote Kanasuba. Um, and it sounds interesting. I'm not really sure what it's about, though, but the art looks really pretty. So that's why I picked it up. And the other one I got was, no, oh, 86 which is kind of a mecha uh, story, which I'm really excited to get into because mecha is something I'm interested in. I just haven't gotten into Gundam and that's really like the only big one that is around right now. But yeah, and then the last thing I got was Kizu Monogatari. This is written by Nio Isen, Nio Ishin or Nisio Isen, I guess. I don't know how to say his name. But yeah, this is kind of like a vampire story-esque kind of thing. I really like the art. It was only $8 when I bought it, I think. The only thing is, it only has like one image, or like two images, which I think is a little sad, but it looks really cool, so yeah. And then that's it for my light novels. Now, uh, for my manga, I bought a bunch of random stuff, which uh, after my collection reflection is a bad idea, but whatever. I'll start paying attention to that uh, next month in July, which is my birthday month. So I will have a lot of money to buy a bunch of random stuff. Um, so yeah, anyway, picked up volume one and two of Witchblade, uh, Takeru, which is the Japanese version. This is uh, written in conjunction with Top Cow. So it's a canon story. This is volume one. There we go. This is volume two. I, and I just picked these up because they were 10 bucks. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're severely out of print. And um, I was just happy to get them because I like Witchblade. And uh, I think the Japanese would really like this concept anyways. And I wanted to see how they would uh, execute it. And as you can see, they did it pretty well. <laughs> so yeah. And then the next thing I got was Bleach. This is Bleach Omnibus 1 uh, through 3. I also picked up the second and third Omnibuses, which cover all the way to Volume 9. But they haven't come in yet um, because they're kind of stuck somewhere. Um, along the way, but yeah, so there we go, Bleach. I'll put a picture up of Volume 2 and 3 right over my face uh, so you guys can see them, but yeah, that's uh, the next thing I got. And then the last two things I got were Food Wars, Volume 1, which is something I'm really, really excited about because I like uh, foodie stuff, and Food Wars is just a really cool shonen. 
um, from what I've seen. And I'm really uh, happy about the way the art looks. So yeah, and then the last thing I got was Tokyo Ghoul. Now, Tokyo Ghoul um, is kind of like a vampire story, if I remember correctly. A lot of my friends are really into it, or a lot of my YouTube friends are really into it. Um, so I'm excited to kind of get this, read it, and then uh, have something else to talk about with them. So yeah, that was basically it. Everything I got, um, that was really fast, actually. So thank you guys very much for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, please like and subscribe and comment down below. Let me know what you guys got this month as well. And yeah, see you guys later.